Hello and welcome back to the Tomarosa. We are doing some work in the dairy today because Daisy is getting pretty close to calving and she's probably going to be early and Rose is right behind her so we got a lot of work to do uh, over these past few months basically this whole area has been mothballed and we got to get it up there's some things we need to finish that we never got to last year one of the first things I want to do is get the water heater back in service this was drained, secured, and flushed. No use heating water for a couple months that we didn't need. So once the tank fills, I'll purge the air out and turn on the breaker. All right, we'll go ahead and turn the water heater on. And let's see, what else should I turn on? Let me go ahead and turn that on that on for the year we'll leave that off we'll turn that on all right i'm also replacing the brackets for my milk hose support arm here in the parlor it hangs from the stall there this is the old one it's starting to crack these were used these were these came with the stalls but i bought new brackets which are pretty much exactly the same and I'm reusing the aluminum uh, support arms. Nothing wrong with those. So just going to assemble those and put them up. All right, got our new milk hose support arm installed on this stall. And I put one on this other stall as well. So now I have both stalls identical. Next, I'm going to focus on the vacuum pump. I'm not going to do too much to it. Just clean it up a little bit and check the oil. Um, slightly low so I'll add some more but otherwise just clean it up clean the uh, regulator up and uh, add a little oil good to go okay our vacuum pump is serviced you can see it back there and we're gonna try turning it on for the first time in a couple months so let's do it hopefully it works The vacuum pump's ready to go, but one more thing I want to do on the vacuum system is actually add a vacuum gauge. Now there is one on the pump itself, but eventually that pump is going to be moving outside the parlor, and so I bought a new gauge to go in. And I think I'm going to remove this plug in the milk house and install it there, just so I have something uh, easily accessible when I'm milking. All right, we're also going through our milking machines. I actually have two milking machines, even though I typically only use one. And I ordered some new parts because the bowl on one of my machines, look at that, see how it's kind of white? Now I thought maybe there might have been some buildup, but I've been, you know, washing it and using acid. But no matter what I did to scrub, like it wouldn't come out. It's almost like that haze you get on some of the older car headlights. So anyway, I ordered a new bowl. And one thing I noticed is when this was new, it was crystal clear. Um, these new ones, they have, they have a little bit of an amber tinge to it, so I wonder if they changed the formulation in their plastics. But I like a clear bowl, so I'm going to replace those. Uh, this is another machine I have. You can see it's not discolored at all, so uh, I'm going to put both machines together and we'll give them a test run and make sure everything is A okay. All right, I went through the claws and I retimed the pulsator. So with all the inflations plugged, it should pulsate 56 times a minute, thereabouts. I think one's 55 and one's 56. I can only mess with them so much, but just run some water through, probably run some soap and acid, just make sure everything's ready. And milky equipment will be ready. All right, parlor stalls are good to go. Vacuum system is good to go. Milking system is good to go. 
So now we need to check the book tank. I re-energized the uh, system. I got some hot water I'm gonna pour in there and turn it on and then I'll time to see how long it takes to get cold. down to 36 degrees in 21 minutes. Uh, it hit 40 degrees at around 18 and a half minutes. Uh, it shut off a few minutes ago, but that was just the compressor uh, pumping down. So about the same time as last season, so that makes me feel good about everything. So bulk tank is good to go. With everything functioning, it's time to clean. Well folks, there we go. Parlor is cleaned and ready to go. Okay, now we have a clean milk house ready to go. There's still some final uh, field day items. We need to wash the windows and wipe down some more horizontals, but it's, uh, it's getting there. We're ready just in case Daisy calves any time. At least we can milk now. Good morning. It is 8.05 a.m. here on the Tomarosa. We're some spry dairy farmers <laughs> getting going. Today we're gonna finish working in the dairy, getting it ready to be a full-fledged milking operation. And part of that is we're gonna start bringing in the girls and cycling them through the milking parlor just to get them used to it again. They've kind of gone feral on their vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, uh, because Daisy's never been milked before, so we want her to be very comfortable with the milking parlor so when she calves, it's easy to get her in there. Yeah, she's been through a couple of times, but uh, we want to get her more comfortable with the routine. All right, let's get out and get at it. Here's the milking parlor. Stacy got it all fixed up and cleaned yesterday. It's been a while since we've been in here. It's like seeing an old friend. We come out behind the barn down the lane. We started the cows way at the end of our lane. There they are. Now what we want to do is start calling them to come in to get a little alfalfa pellet treat so they get used to coming back to the barn for a morning for milking. Cow cows! Wrong ones. <laughs> Come, cows. Rose. Carnation. Daisy. Buttercup. Got the yearlings all stirred up, don't I? Coming. Able to come. Rainy, you are just like your mama. All the babies are like, we're already here. It's nice though to be able to call them all the way on the other end of the farm and have them come to us. Yep. Here, here they are coming down the lane. Getting closer. Looks like our first one's gonna be Buttercup and then Rose. Got them out of the barn and head back out to pasture. 
Overall, I think it went pretty good for the first time in quite a while, especially Daisy. We got her to come in with uh, relatively few troubles. So they all cycled through and we'll just do this each morning just to kind of get them back in the routine. And then uh, once it is time for them to be milked, it shouldn't be an issue. And now we are in our processing room. We're gonna work on doing a uh, test pasteurization of just water to make sure everything's working right and to remind us how to do it and just clean and get everything nice and organized so once we have milk, we're ready to do something with it. Indeed. All right, we're just filling up the pasteurizer with lukewarm water. All right, we're at temp, so we're gonna monitor this for 30 minutes. We're working on our checklist. Everything seems to be working okay. And then we'll be done with the pasteurizer for today. Cleaning window screens. Just working on touching up a little paint here and there in the dairy. Well, we did it. We got everything ready to go, and we're going to give you a quick tour of some of the stuff we did to get ready. All right. We cleaned uh, the milking parlor, serviced the vacuum pump, put new hose hangers on both stalls, and... We ran the cows through this morning. We ran the cows through this morning just to get them used to getting back in our team. So that's pretty much the milking parlor. Yeah, that's the parlor. Now we'll go in the milk house. We cleaned. Cleaned, did some painting. Serviced the milking equipment. Uh, Tess ran the bolt tank. Organized supplies. Put a new rack up which, to hold our plants and gaskets and stuff. Cause those are always an annoying thing, what to do with and such. Oh, and the vacuum gauge added that. So yeah, that's the milk house. Processing room. Uh, we put another one of these racks up, got the water heater going, did a test run on the pasteurizer, touch up painting, put a little thing up to hold our rolls of stickers, cleaned all the windows, cleaned all the glass doors, sanitized the refrigerator. And then in the office, pretty much just straightened up some items, did some basic cleaning, did an inventory of all of our supplies and just basically organized. So now we're ready, we think. Are, are you ever ready? <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? Now that we're uh, somewhat ready, she'll be late. <laughs> no. I still think she's going to be early. <laughs> so there you go, everybody. Uh, Daisy, the one who did not get pregnant the year before, so did not have a calf last year. This year is going to be her first calf. She's due May 6th, so go ahead and place your bets as to when you think she's going to calve. Uh, we think it's going to be a little early just because she's already uh, bagging up pretty good. But we don't know. We'll see, and you'll see. We'll share it. Stay tuned. All right, everybody have a good one. Jeez, I hear a spud man outside somewhere. It's probably going to scare him away. Hey, spud, can you eat it? Kitty kitty. This is not a cat door. It's a hose port. Okay, bye bye kitty kitty. <laughs>